everybody, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Plano, Texas at Kenny's East Coast Pizza to do their massive pizza challenge. I'm here with so many great people, so many great eaters. In fact, this place is so full they kicked us outside so we're eating this pizza outside. But just look at this big awesome group of excellent people. So I'm here doing this challenge, not only with Mr. Randy Santel, right there, we got Mr. Greg Savage eating here as well, and Miss Raina Huang, as Randy said. So at that, we're gonna have 45 minutes to eat this about 12 pound pizza, 50 pieces of pepperoni, looks really good, so let's get started, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, big thank you to everybody here at Penny's East Coast Pizza for letting us take this challenge. We are outside just because of the conditions of everything going on. We've got quite a few much appreciated people here to watch, but 15 teams about have won this challenge, and the record we think is about 15 minutes. Each team is going to be trying to beat that, but let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom! boom. All right, let's go, Greg. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Kenny's Pizza and I will say this was a dang good pizza. So it's like that thin crust kind of East Coast um, style pizza. I would classify it kind of like kind of like a New York style. Um, just again as you can see very thin uh, dough but it was just delicious. Like I loved everything about this pizza. This is definitely by far my favorite style of pizza and this is a pizza that I would undoubtedly eat again and again and again, even as not the biggest pizza fan. So the overall pizzas themselves were about 11 or 12 pounds, um, very, very large as you can see. Uh, this, they were cut into big slices, which is really cool, not only for like, you know, the photo and the cinematic effect, but like they're massive slices. Like each one of those slices you have to consider is probably like two, one and a half to two pounds. Like it's a pretty serious sized slice in pizza. Super delicious. Very moist. Go, Randy. It's July 3rd and it's Friday, so it's tank top Friday over here. Greg didn't get the memo. As Randy mentioned, the previous record was thought to be about 15 minutes, and there would be about uh, 15 teams that had previously beaten this before. Um, of course, we are hoping to not only beat this challenge, uh, each get some gift cards, but to also get that pizza for free. Um, so again, uh, here with Mr. Randy Santel, Greg Savage Eating, and Miss Raina. So super excited that we were able to meet so many cool people uh, this day. There's a lot of people that came out to watch. Um, so many, in fact, that we, the restaurant couldn't hold the capacity. Like the restaurants were at 50% um, due to the current situation. So we actually had to eat it outside. Um, what was really funny about this, not really funny, kind of unfortunate or just added to the experience, was it was like 106 degrees out. And if you can't tell, the sun was also beating down on us pretty hard, especially Randy and Greg. Um, so I do feel a little worse for them. Me and Raina were at least partially shaded. Um, so yeah, definitely a very, very, very hot day to be eating such large amounts of hot pizza. In fact, I swear, the pizza actually, like, it didn't lose any um, temperature like it stayed just as hot as it was when we started all the way through the challenge because it was so hot out and you had this Sun basically baking it uh, but anyway so yeah a super cool challenge really really uh, enjoyed it um, a very delicious pizza Awesome. We're right behind them. And Greg, go Greg! Go Greg! 
as I mentioned, this is my style of pizza, my preferred style of pizza, a nice kind of thin uh, crust pizza, which is not like crispy thin crust, just like a nice thin pizza that really highlights the sauce and the toppings. Um, this was uh, mandatorily uh, pizza or pepperoni on the pizza. That's the only way you get the challenge, um, but it was totally fine. It was actually like a really good tasting. Um, so yeah, really loved it. The sauce was really nice and mild, uh, but like a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of city. It was just, it was perfect. Let me know your preferred pizza uh, type down below. I guess there's like thin crust, New York style, normal crust, deep dish, thick crust. I will say though, I haven't really ever had a, a an authentic deep dish pizza, which I will have at some point. But until out of all the pizzas I have tried, definitely this kind of uh, East Coast style is my favorite. So everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy, and uh, we'll see what happens. What time are we at, Randy? <coughs> 4.50. Woo! Yeah, we got the
seconds. Great job. Now we've got Greg and I are going to finish our side. Just finish that up. Super delicious pizza. Seriously, I love that thin crust New York style pizza, and they did it exceptionally here at Kenny's. We have Randy and Greg just finishing up now, absolutely dominating this thing. They barely have, well, they're barely 10, they're not even 10 minutes in. They have so much time left, over 35 minutes to go. So, with that, let's chew on in and say destroy the rest of this challenge. Me and Raina, luckily enough to finish in about nine minutes, four seconds. Raina, what'd you think of the pizza? It was delicious. It was delicious. And, yeah, it's just a little hot out. I tell you what, we don't have to worry about the food getting cold out here, that's for sure. But that was tune in. Randy and Greg dominate the rest of this. Doctors, med students, they gave me a Texas care package. So let's go through this and see what it is because it looks really awesome. So thanks so much for that, my friend. No problem. Very much appreciate the support. Huge love here down in Texas. So I like it a lot. Let's see what's in this bag. We have a Texas face mask. We got some pecans. Are these, uh, are they like cinnamon sugar? Oh yeah, sweet and spicy pecans, nice. We got, we got some Texas Fire Roasted Salsa, medium heat, which sounds perfect. Dope. I have this awesome Texas shirt, don't mess with Texas, that is perfect. 
Dude, that's so cool. This is my, this is my American shirt. I'm waiting for the We have a German soccer team emblem. Awesome. We got a Texas magnet. Dude, this is crazy. We have a Texas patch, which I'll have to put on something. Got an awesome Did You Know About Texas? It's like a postcard. Perfect. Another awesome postcard. Howdy, Texas, USA. Then there's this, which is Dallas. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says Joel. Yeah, look at that. How freaking epic is that? Damn. You may all go to hell and I'll go to Texas. Hell right. I have a Texas Ranger badge so I can officially fit in in Texas. A little license plate, Texas Cowboy. And a lanyard, a Texas lanyard. That is awesome. I always use, I always need lanyards. I'm gonna put my car keys on that. Dude, again, thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. So much love down here in Texas. I've had a great time. So seriously, thanks so much everybody. Thank you everybody who's been coming out. And we have more Texas to come. And here we have the Kennedy Memorial, which is big walls and this is John Fitzgerald Kennedy oh I, I've, I've been in the car and look who we found down here who's this guy what's up ladies and gentlemen who's that YouTube Randy Santel oh, not yes. many people know this guy but got a good got a good tan look at this look at I know, it's all that biking uh, oh yeah you've been biking like crazy man. yeah well I'm gonna have to when I get home from this trip yeah and this Ooh. that's what they call the architect what is this, sorry? Brutalist. Brutalist. Like the FBI building. Oh, really? Interesting. Strange. Yeah. And look at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a big barrier. No, I didn't know that. Big building. They didn't really care that much about the challenge. No. They didn't really care that I was there or not. And here we have this this thing. Whatever it is. Yeah, with a right. yeah. with a, and a drill now, but... with a sexified Randy. <laughs> yeah. And then there is this big Pegasus yeah, thing, yeah. some do with oil, yeah. and then Omni Hotel. I think there's some do with uh, with uh, Kennedy. And here in Dallas, we got wild hordes of ducks. And here's some more over here. This one is literally potentially coming to attack us. Like, I think she actually is going to attack us here momentarily. She either wants food or she's going to attack us. And then here's a mom and babies. Little ducklings. I guess that's a good place to be on a little pond with all these steers. It's supposed to be like a cattle drive monument. So you have cowboy. And then literally just like a whack of cow statues. This, it's actually pretty impressive. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, too, we don't put much appetite. And here we have some ducklings. Duck ducks. Usually they don't, they don't eat them. And there's another statue of some sort. Texas. 